Hey guys, what's up? My name is Omar. I'm a photographer and in today's video I'm going to be talking about this little guy right here. So uh, let's, uh, let's get started. Uh, the reason why I'm making this video is actually because I just bought this new hoodie yesterday and I am honestly feeling it. Dude, it looks dope. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to show it off because I tend to wear the same clothes in like all my videos because I don't really have that many clothes to show off. Uh, I'm always in the house or I'm out shooting. I don't want to wear nice clothes when I'm out shooting because I tend to sweat a lot and it gets dirty. But, you know, I'm feeling new, feeling fresh, and I just wanted to show off my gray hoodie. I also love gray, gray hoodies, gray sweatshirts. I think they just look so good. But um, another reason why I'm doing this video is to show this bad boy off right here. So, what is this? This is a filter, a lens filter. It is the Dream Effects filter by a company called Prism Lens Effects. I know that's a lot to take in, bear with me here. So what does this filter do? Now you have a lot of other filters. You have ND filters, which basically an ND filter uh, is when it's a sunny day and you want to keep your depth of field very shallow, which means you want to keep the background blurry while the while the you know while your subject is in focus and you can't really do that if it's a sunny day and you want a low shutter speed um, but you want the image to not be overexposed so you end up having to bring your ISO down and you'll still have to bring you know your your f stop down as well and that messes up with the with the depth of field so what do you do you get an ND filter and it it pretty much darkens the image while being able to keep your shutter speed your f stop and your ISO where they are that's not this. This here is basically what is going to transform your images. Now, let's say for example, with I actually bought this for video making purposes. Now, for filmmaking, I hate sharp images. I just never like them. It looks too amateur, it looks too YouTube-y, and it just looks too damn digital. And I've always been obsessed with like, <clears throat> when I go to the cinema, I watch a movie, the, the image is so soft, it's like, I don't know, it's just nice to look at, it's not harsh to look at. When I watch a, a movie that's like too sharp, I'm just like, I find myself squinting because I'm just like, yo, dude, that's just too like, it looks like twigs on a branch. Twigs on a branch, is that right? Twigs on a tree, or you know what I mean. So what do all of these cameras use? They use ProMist filters. So a ProMist filter basically takes your sharp image and it just softens it and it adds like a nice sort of, like a, like a dream, Feel to it, you know, it, it kind of blows out the highlights and it lifts the contrast a little bit. It just makes it more softer. So we have the Promis filters. The issue with Promis filters is that they are very expensive. And the other problem is, is that they come in different strengths and you have to buy those different strengths. It doesn't just come in a pack. You can't just spend like a hundred dollars and they'll give you all the filters, you know? So if you buy one filter, you, you think it's too strong or it's not too strong, you have to buy another one. You end up spending a lot of money, man. This steps in and helps you with all those issues. So this is by a company called Prism Lens Effects. It is the Dream FX filter. And basically what this thing does is it does what the Promise filter does, but at a cheaper price, man. This was like $60. I live in the UK, so it cost me a lot more. But if you live in the US, man, $60. This thing is fantastic. So like I said, I originally used it for filmmaking. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to experiment it with my portraits because I love taking portraits. I'm with my girlfriend a lot. She's an amazing person to take photos of because she just looks so nice. And she always dresses amazing as well. So I like taking her photos. What I found was applying this to my lens and taking photos, portraits, man, it just, it, it doesn't add too much to the photo where you look at it and you're like, yo, what the hell is going on? But it adds just that little bit where people look at it and go, what have they done with that photo, man? It, there's something different about it. It looks very dreamy. It looks sort of like, you know, like they added a bit of Vaseline to the lens. And I know you're probably thinking, why would I want that? But trust me when I say this, man, it takes your images and it just makes it soft. It makes it dreamy. It makes it old school, man. If you want that nostalgic look, oh my God, this thing, it does exactly that. Now, with portraits, with photography, you don't always want that. I don't actually put this on my filter a lot when I take photos, but every once in a while, I just love to have it on to just get, 
a bit more of a cinematic feel, man. It just, it blows, it, it blows out those highlights. It lifts the contrast as well. So your, your blacks aren't harsh, man. Your contrast isn't harsh. It just, I don't know. It just, there's something about it. It's very hard to explain. Now, with portraits, okay, I think this lens works best with that type of photography because when you're doing things like landscape photography, you don't want this lens on it. With landscape stuff, you just want it normal. Although, let's face it, if you do want to add a bit of fog, you know, like a fog feel to it, this will help, man. Or if you want to add like a smoky kind of, um, let's say, for example, you take, you're taking a photo indoors, you, you want to make it look like there's a bit of haze in there. This will help. This helps as well with filmmaking. I actually did a video on uh, this lens for filmmaking. I already released it, but I thought I'd just do something on photography as well because you know you can use this for photography. But if you want to replicate some sort of look where there's a bit of haze to it, um, this lens helps, man. Not a lot, but it does help. Um, but I find with portraits, this helps the most. Now, does this work all the time? Pretty much, but it works the best when it's a sunny day. That is what this lens. Uh, filter is for it's for sunny days because you know on sunny days man the light is so harsh you get very harsh contrast uh, harsh shadows and you want to just help lift that harshness a little bit this is where this comes in so I would honestly say on a sunny day this lens works wonders on a cloudy day which is pretty much what the UK is uh, on a general basis it still works very nicely but you have to kind of be specific with where you're taking the photo. Now, if you apply this lens, I, I mean, if you look there, you can kind of see, I don't have the right, oh, by the way, speaking of which, you do need ring stops, man. So like, um, uh, so what you can do in Amazon, I will link down below to the lens, uh, to the lens filter, to the lens, yeah, to the lens filter and also to the step up and step down rings. Link down below, you need that to basically screw on to the filter and then to screw it onto your lens. Now, some uh, some lenses, you'll need a few. Uh, obviously, when you're buying these step up and step down rings, they'll pretty much give you everything. Just buy it, attach as much as you can, attach it to the lens, there you go. Where was I going with this? Oh yeah, so the best way to get the full effect with this filter is by taking a photo of, let's say for example now you're taking a photo of your subject right what you want to do is you want to place them in front of the sun and you want to be in front of them so you don't want to be behind them you want to be in front of them so the sun is here for example hitting their face you want to be here because what you're going to find when that happens is the image is gonna be so dreamy. It's, it's just gonna be like this sort of hate, this glow, right? This like burst of dream feel to the video, to the to your image. That's when you're gonna get like that perfect look with this lens. Uh, if you're doing it the other way, you're still gonna get like a nice glow, but I find with the light behind the subject, there's just something about it that I really like. It makes it very like, just very dreamy. But what this does it, it'll basically take that sharpness and it'll soften the sharpness and it's going to just add this nice glow around whatever the hell you're taking a photo of. And I don't know, it's it's not a lot, but it's just something that will give your photo a little bit of an oomph to it, a little bit of difference to it. Because man, photography now, everyone is doing it. Everyone's taking portraits, everyone's taking street photos and it all looks the same. And adding a bit of zing to it adding a little bit of I don't know uniqueness to it I don't know it'll set you apart a little bit man but I do feel like this is something that every photographer every videographer needs to have in their camera bag it's cheap man $60 it's like I don't know man it's <laughs> it's just something that you should probably look into buying I'm gonna try and show you something here you probably won't really be able to see it but I'm gonna show you how you can how, what gives it that look you know what I'm talking about so you're not really gonna be able to see it but basically let's say for example you're out right and it's you, you've got that haze rain and that the, the little droplets they drop onto your lens and then you look and then you see like little dots that is what is on this filter and that is what's creating that glow that that haze that softness I don't know how they've done it, but it's pretty cool to see because when I first bought this filter, I was like, oh, what the hell? And you just see little drops. It's like little, 
and I absolutely, it, it's, it's incredible to see. The only issue is that there's a, sh I was about to swear it, there's a lot of dust on this lens mount. It gets very, 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 very dusty. So I tend to have to um, um, clean it quite a lot. But what I got with this lens was I got a really cool, let me, let me actually get the pouch, hold on. So uh, I got this pouch and it comes with this um, cloth that you can clean, not just the filter, uh, the filter, the, uh, yeah, the filter, lens filter, but uh, you can also clean your other lenses, you can clean your camera with it, your camera equipment, fantastic, and it's got the, uh, the logo here, Prism uh, lens effects, and they do a lot of other, by the way, I'm just obsessed with this company because um, the guy who owns it is a guy called Jacob Owens, who's a cinematographer, and he has another company called Tropicolor as well, and they do really cool like assets, uh, LUTs, presets, um, just a, a range of things for photographers and videographers. They also do like um, contract templates, storyboard templates. They pretty much do everything, and every time I need something, I just go there and I get what I need. So I'm a huge fan. Uh, this was not sponsored. They never asked me to do this. They never asked me to review it, but I am just a huge fan. This filter really did change my life, and it's something that I have on my video camera at all times, man. It is always on my video camera. I never take it off. Uh, I just, I just love the um, uh, how my shots end up with this lens, and especially my photos as well. So, I will end this video here. But this is a. Um, a little kind of montage of photos that I've taken with this filter. You'll see what I'm talking about with that nice glow. Have a great day, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, follow me on Instagram. Peace.